Thursday night's protests were peaceful and our crews did not see any police intervention overnight. Eddie Randall is showing us how more kids are now joining in to the protests. Yeah, it's great to hear how kids are handling all this and actually what they think about this situation on Thursday. We got a chance to hear from kids talk about their personal experiences with racism, and it's great because they are the voices of our future. Take a look at this video. Thursday marked day eight of protest here in Denver. The highlight, kids and young people. Those were the people we saw actually leading the march on Thursday. Before protesting, it was all about listening. Listening to our youth who say they've already experienced racism in some shape, form, or fashion. They shared some of those experiences and personal moments with the crowds. And my life matters. And my world matters. I just wanted to look at y'all and ask, what are we going to do next? We are protesting, we are supporting, we are doing everything we can. But even after George Floyd's death is justified, even after the protests stop, we need to continue to educate ourselves. And I wanted to especially elaborate that we need to educate our children. Thursday was also a day we saw total peace out here during those protests. Thursday evening, we saw zero police intervention and people who stayed beyond the 9 p.m. curfew the city has in place actually just went home on their own. Reporting in downtown Denver, I'm Eddie Randall, 9 News.